TRDR console in the London session we are going to have a look at Bitcoin today, Ethereum and then one other little interesting altcoin that I've had my eye on for a long while um, so I just want to assess that and have a look at some data with you and see what could possibly happen um, but first of all here we are on the range on Bitcoin still just battling this POC here of the larger time frame range that we've been in for well over a month now with a couple of deviations um, so let's have a look at what could possibly happen here we still have a previous month POC hovering above us and we can see we got some cells there all right so we did float up from the last video we saw I was looking for some bull divs and we're still creating those let me just zoom in here okay so let me just zoom out higher time frame kind of look at the minute of course um, but yet yeah, we are we are creating some bull divs if we do get a lower low so what I was basically looking for at the beginning of the week was if we did come down um, to this kind of zone and take these range lows out I was looking to build some bull divs as the open interest uh, comes down with negative funding and a low LS ratio alright so we are still building these if you did come down any lower um, so that is just something to bear in mind I'm kind of not afraid of this area um, uh, you know trading a range as you come to range lows it's not an area I wanted to be looking to short this was your short this is where you should have been hedging short okay I don't believe this is the the zone to start chasing um, and expecting lows to get nuked just because some retard on crypto Twitter is post, you know posting a wave pattern saying we're going back to 12k or something shit read the data and analyze it day by day session by session things can change maybe we do drop um, but if we do drop from here you know you want some kind of confirmation really you want to really nuke these range lows back test fail and then go all right it's not this is certainly not somewhere you want to be just expecting price to drop all right and we'll go and have a look at the uh, the order book depth in a second um, so Bitcoin still ranging let's uh, let's see what we get from here um, I'm not expecting too much but I could be proved wrong there um, yeah if we do drop a low here you know we've got our BT diamond there if you get another one down here you're just gonna create bull divs so if we drop again um, I would certainly be looking to bid that or do we just chop here and push up looking at the OBC we've got liquidity right up to that previous month POC which is 43.7 alright so you could come up and tap that and then we'll review from there not a great deal above um, not a great deal below as always I'm sure there's a lot of resting liquidity under 40k um, but that is where everybody wants price do we go and get it don't know don't know we'll just assess as we go but in you know I, I would favor another move up to be honest um, especially looking at this the way it's looking um, another thing to consider let's just quickly look at liquidity together um, basically perhaps liquidity is very very high all right coming up to those kind of all-time high levels 1.6 1.7 billion so that's always cautionary for me if it you know if we've got confluence with open interest and the spot books are very high as well like we saw here yeah okay one thing to note is if it's just perps contracts filling the books they could get short squeezed as well all right so if you look at this zone here okay so one point we'll call it 1.6 billion very very high absolutely nuked there was nothing in the order books there at all there was no bid at all so we had to go and find it we came down we find we found it one thing to note here is when you've come from bid um, if everybody say raid short in this and fill in the books with short contracts like we saw here you can short short squeeze them alright so don't always look at this and think it's ultimately bearish in the short term if it hangs around there and you're at some highs and open interest very high and funding's high yeah it can be bearish but just bear in mind as well if you're looking at this you know you can get short squeezed out of these as well if the you know if these order books are full of short contracts all right so just something to keep an eye on um, while let's go and just have a look at the depth while we're here all right so we can see just quickly not much from spot to be honest um, I'm just on the my multiverse chart here because I'm just watching a couple of other coins um, but yeah we can see limit orders coming in um, from Binance spot there Coinbase Pro not a lot to say really they, they just still want to defend this area couple of levels moving up um, Bitstamp 
they've still got supply above i don't put too much weight on them qcoin have been really really nice charts and they've been defending this 41 42k area all right so keep an eye on qcoin um, as i mentioned in the last video perps are ready a little bit lower but what will happen is if the market just starts to bid this up these guys will just have to move their orders up um, you know you've got these resting limit orders here but if these guys just want to want to push price up they're going to have to come and chase this up all right um, ethereum very very similar to be honest they've got some perps bid there a little bit of spot bid um, B ETH BTC has been very bid uh, bit for next BTC per bid there um, nothing to show on the Binance ETH BTC bid okay so let's just go and have a look at ETH on the range because it's looking very similar to this let me just go to ETH on the spot chart okay I'm gonna have to zoom in a bit because as we can see ETH is actually just trying to range a little bit here I'll go to the volume and let's have a look at what's going on so ETH at range lows which uh, it's been creating this range just since mm, beginning of January really ETH diamond ETH diamond and away you go let's just zoom into that quickly on a one hour chart yep this you know if you're if you're trying to trend up on price um, you are gonna get this range and consolidation before your next move ETH is obviously going to need the rest of the market to move with it and Bitcoin as well um, so we'll see what we get there if you know if BTC dominance drops a little bit um, we'll see what the market cap of ETH does um, and, and we'll, we'll go from there but yeah fighting the POC just starting to push up a little bit now but again this is not a zone I would get bearish in uh, that's your short that's your short that's your short that's quite a nice one as well you know obviously just this is this is not a zone to look for shorts all right um, no real edge in volume on ETH 15 minute chart um, tight little range as we can see there on the 15 minute no real edge but open interest is very very low um, so not the kind of zone you want a nuke you want open interest up here and then you get your nukes all right so you know if again i think it looks all right i think it looks all right and a couple of other coins that are looking all right alongside if um at the same time that total market cap three i think is looking quite good if we get a little bit more dominance drop um ab ldo you know those sort of coins they'll probably run with if as well if he wants to move up all right so summary bt and if i'm not looking to short these assets unless they start to break trend and structure um, BTC hasn't even broken structure on a one hour chart yet or a four hour chart all right so just bear that in mind let me just go here and see how far I can zoom out you know hi low hi low hi low hi low hi low hi low absolute scam work thanks Gary hi low hi low hi low you know just you can't get bearish on this price action especially when bears are doing such a shit drop job of dropping this range all right so um yeah summary for bitcoin and eth <sighs> could be a little bit sideways but i'm certainly not looking for continuation shorts here in any way shape or form at the minute um one altcoin i have been looking at is blz will you load up blz please thank you um this coin has been absolutely chad bid um for a good four weeks on perps generally when you see this this could be over bullish perps derivatives traders jumping in the market and um, this could be their liquidation level so you run these levels and then you get a bounce the thing is I've been watching this entity here defending this 3-3 level and they've been doing it for a while um, I've seen them pull the order put it back in um, you've had other crypto dropping 12-15% BLZ sat here for four weeks let's just go and have a quick look at the BLZ chart on perps I am on perps at the minute it's got no, I have to say it's got no spot bid here and there we go we can see what it's done basically so it's wicking the lows wicking the lows all the way along scam 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 you would expect this to drop by now but it's not um, if you look at the higher time frame we'll just drop to a four hour trend um, trend you know is this consolidation and continuation um, in the frame of mind that I would like to play it that way um, so yeah I've been watching this all over Christmas and it's simply not moved um, maybe not something you want to just throw money at in the derivatives exchanges because you know you're gonna to have to start paying a slight bit of funding depending on what your volumes are but certainly you know <laughs> 
it, it, it's the classic again isn't it if it's gonna fail it's either gonna do a couple of things it's probably even gonna do this again and then just fail you know or is it gonna um, just hold hold this zone pop all right I'm you know that that's looking favorable at the minute the way that this entity is holding price here um, another thing I would look for is yeah just absolute scam all the lows and then pop again um, so yeah you want your stops below here obviously if you get stopped out watch to see if there's any bid and then just watch for continuation I think you have to look for that on these coins when they've just been holding so well um, and you can see the range highs range lows very tight range lows now and you're just holding the POC there so any any dips into these lows um, watch if you get some wicks and continuation up um, or again you know if you do if you do pop up to this upside start to roll back down like you have here this one rolled over the other day and um, but bid was still holding it you know but if you start to pop up roll back over and then all the bid below just starts to disappear then yes you know that it, it, it's gonna fail all right so just keep an eye on that um, but yeah I think a lot of alts have been sideways this week um, holding well they do look quite good I have to say I can't get too bearish yet unless we um, start running and taking more highs again we've come down slowly and nicely on four hour and one hour charts and a lot of coins are just catching some bid all right so yeah that's it we'll be live in the discord later the trdr discord link in the bio and description join us there and actually it's been a slow week so let's hope some volatility uh, so you can get some percentage games on your perps and spot portfolios all right guys speak soon cheers i bet your margins are pretty nice and fat let's not talk about my margins by the way being nice and fat that's a nice shirt do they make it for men